this was another quick little project I'm just going to tack it on the end of this film my lathe never came with a uh, a threading indicator a threading dial which is what you use to know when to engage and disengage the the half nuts when you're cutting a thread so I bought a cheap um, mini lathe version just off AliExpress uh, it's got a 16 turn gear on there it's actually quite nicely made it's a nice solid steel nicely engraved little piece but it comes with a an m6 bolt screw rather uh, which doesn't fit my lathe this has got a an m5 thread so it's easy enough to put an m5 through there but what you find is it's just a little bit too short so it's a bit hard to see but where that 16 tooth gear engages with the the lead screw is a little bit too high up and what was happening was it was only just touching the screw so what i've done is machined up uh, if i can get it undone with one hand maybe not the indicator is just threaded on and then the gear is just a single piece and there's a little um, lock washer spring washer there so what I've done is machined up from brass a little extension that fits on here and that fits neatly into the hole in the block uh, it's threaded all the way through just an M4 thread that threads onto there and then this screws onto that and I also made a little brass collar which fits down the end of the gear just to take up any up and down slack uh, and all that does is it, it moves this gear down so it engages with the lead screw a lot better I'll, I'll assemble it all and uh, we can have a look one last little piece I made is this little brass collar so this is quite a deep hole and it's actually uh, it's just been drilled out so it's got a sort of conical bottom to it and because I'm using a an M5 rather than an M6 bolt I needed something to go in there just to take up the slack around the hole so that fits in there and then the bolt goes through and that's what bolts it onto the lathe and the reason I made it longer is um, I don't like that the or I didn't like that the, the the, the head of the screw was was deep down in a hole because the problem was I'm using these these T handle um, Allen Allen keys and you couldn't turn it it would hit the lathe so this way with the with the head on the outside it gives me um, plenty of room to be able to, to be able to tighten it up so I guess I just need to put it on there now and see if it works with that tightened up now I should be able to start the lathe and we should see it rotating so that seems to work well and of course the way you would use this is when you're setting up the threads you can pick up uh, it keeps track of the position basically the um, the relationship between the carriage and the lead screw so if I engage the half nuts when this comes around to one so you can see this is now moving and this stops because of course it's moving at the the same speed so if we disengage it Theoretically, you can wind this back. And if you engage it at the same point, if you're cutting a thread, it should now have picked up the same position in the thread. Um, the only way I can tell if that works is to actually try it, I guess.
Well, I'll see if it works. I'm just waiting for the dial to come round. Wood's not really the best thing to use, it's not exactly round, but it should give me some idea. Uh, so this is on 36. So this should pick up the thread again. Once it comes around. Yeah. Perhaps if I don't listen. And actually, because it's a, um, I, think I'm, I think it's a 16 TPI thread. Because it's an even thread, you don't have to wait till it comes around to the same number. You can do multiples off it as well. So I think on this, every second one would work. Hard to see, but I'm pretty sure it's working. a little bit hard to see but that definitely seems to have worked it's picked up the same thread so that little thing is going to make cutting threads on this lathe so much easier um, and it was quite a fun little project I mean it's pretty simple now you're not using it you can just turn it out of the way um, I'm pleased with how that's come out. That's actually worked worked better than I thought. It does seem to be um, a bit tricky engaging the the half nuts, so I may need to look at adjusting those. Um, there's all sorts of adjustments in here just to get that engagement a little bit smoother. But as long as it's consistent, I think that's fine. 